Hey Pete, tell us where we're to, buddy. Where we're located. What's the what's what's the place? This is uh, Rocket Bakery. Yeah. In, uh, in Mount Pearl, just up from Centennial Square, and it is absolutely fabulous. Great coffee, uh, great baked goods, cookies, cakes, fresh bread, whatever your heart desires. And the staff is great. It's got this eclectic looking little little atmosphere, and people just love it. Mm -hmm. We'll just do a little pan around here. Show you this place, guys. Let's have a little look. All the furniture, every every, every item is different. Every item is different. This is the, one of the coolest places I've been into. There's the rockets. Location is actually Bannister Street, and uh, as you can see, I said Centennial Square, and that's where the business and the banks and everything are located. Uh, let me just take a quick look at some of the some of the area where uh, this is just uh, continuing on out and just. Uh, I'll just take a quick pan through. This is where they make all the different, the different uh, pastries and cook, cookies, breads. It's all done locally in house. So I hope they didn't mind me panning by. And of course, here's my my brother. Enjoying some <clears> of his enjoying his his coffee. Some of the fabulous mm -hmm. coffee you just told me we had to have. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Pete, where are we to, buddy? We are uh, right on George Street. It's probably one of the biggest collection of bars on any little street, uh, mm -hmm. in, in probably in North America or anywhere, actually. Yeah. Uh, almost every business here is a bar or pub restaurant kind of deal. Uh, so it's kind of world famous. Almost anybody, anybody who comes to Newfoundland and visits St. John's definitely spends a night on George Street. A little uh, bit of alcohol drink down here, I guess? There's a little, little bit of... Some imbibing takes place, no <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> um, but every place is either a bar or a uh, pub slash restaurant. And how, how many of those are down here approximately? Oh my God, it's over 100 as far as I know. Over 100 and, on what? And uh, it's one little strip. One little strip, which yeah. is only basically, uh, well, not very long. Eight of a kilometer, maybe? Eight of a kilometer long. And um, yeah, and it's, it's been just party time from. Year round, it's every night. A lot of a lot of live music, a lot of Irish music down here too. And it's very very popular. Okay, so, so it's, uh, yeah, we'll, it's, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a scan around, have a look. Yeah, um, we probably won't get it all just because of the weather. But uh, yeah. and today, if this was a sunny day, all these patios that you see in the ring, they would be filled with people uh, enjoying food and beverages and uh, having a great time. Music would be blasting. Just, it's, it's, it's just looking edge. down here, we'll try and do some down the road, but basically it's all bars all the way along. We're not trying to video you guys. <laughs> yeah. There's a Royalties, very popular. Yeah. Try to get as much video as we can here. Because of the rain conditions, we can't get out. So it basically starts right over there. And heads this way, all the way down the street. I'll just get over on the other side of the street and then maybe we'll carry on from there. Go. Okay, so now we just came across the street from where we just were. And we're looking at the, some of the other, uh, the other companies on the far side. And as you can see, uh, not only are they right on the street, but like all the little nooks and crannies, there's also little bars and also and places like that. Uh, some of the bars down here actually have been uh, associated with uh, some of the television programs, like Hudson and Rex, and uh, the other very popular one, which I can't remember for some reason. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. So, if you're wondering how it's getting video, that's me back here. <laughs> I'm just having a hoot in here a second, but move along another little bit. <laughs> here we are. We're sneaking under a patio. See what we could do. <laughs> and then we show a shot across the road. Hang on, we'll try another one. Okay. All right, so this is just another another section of bars and uh, pubs and every place to create a state of enjoyment. Yeah. So we'll walk along and we'll duck in and out. Yeah. And some of the ones on this side. And the rain is optional. You can order that. Take advantage of it. It's coming down pretty good. So sorry, no motorcycle today. No Goldwing. But. Uh, yeah, all pubs, some, uh, I believe there's like pubs upstairs, pubs downstairs. One second, I'll move over a little bit. Moving a little bit further down the street. Again, this just bar after bar after pub after pub after bar. Every kind of music that you can think about is down here. And, uh, you know, all really colorful. The nightlife here is just fantastic. So okay, this is uh, what you see across the way here is uh, the George Street Festival stage is where all the bands, they bring in bands from the mainland, uh, a lot of the big name bands have played here. And this street is blocked, generally blocked with, with party goers whenever they have a, a, the festival. And of course there's the sign, George Street Festival 2023. And across the way, uh, if you can see them, the brothers over there having the grand time over on the stage. So this is where the bands would hang out, like Bernie Bentle and uh, and uh, what's the name? Uh, all the Canadian bands come down here. We've had a a, a huge a huge uh, selection of party bands. All right, so we're going to move on now. So now we're now we're over here on the stage. <laughs> We're on the stage here, right? so uh, yeah. What do you want? What, what do you want to hear? One of the one of the more popular things down here uh, is actually the Newfoundland screeching, where uh, it, where you become an honorary Newfoundland, Newfoundlander and you get your certificate and everything. And that's done some of the bears down here. They have a great time at it. The people that we call come from away, the CFAs. Uh, they really enjoy that little that little. Uh, <laughs> Screeching. We got the CFAs now. We, now, now we have the CFAs. See? I didn't, I didn't know that. And us CFAs just come from away. Yeah, I got it. Okay, standing on the stage right here next to Bridie Malloy's. Look at this place, guys. Just have a look at it. I call it everybody guys. Guys this, guys that. Did you ever get tired of that? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Bridie Malloy's is the bar uh, upstairs and is fronted on George Street. Down below Body Malloy's is the Celtic Hurt restaurant. And at the Celtic Hurt restaurant, of course, they also have a bar inside and they serve great food. Um, it's, uh, it's a place to go. It's a place, it's a happening place. All right. No thing going here on George Street. <laughs> <laughs> so let me zip over here. What's that going to happen? Where are we to? The Rock House. Uh, yeah, Peter. Now, what's the deal on the Rock House? Well, the Rock House is like a, like a bit of a place where you play a little bit of rock and roll. Do you think they play rock? Rock, rock and roll, and, <laughs> and they serve lambs. And with yeah. lambs, you can just run with them. I mean, there's no... India bear. I mean, what more did you want? India bear and lamb rum. It's like... <laughs> and the Rock House. Pub and patio. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're not saying there's a lot of bars on this street, but... What do you think? Do you think there's a lot of bars, Pete? A, I'm telling you, there's a fair number of bars, and uh, you know, we even got the karaoke caps. Okay, and so here we got the fellows driving along. I don't know if you know where they're going. Yeah, now, now there's a bunch of people probably setting up for a musical festival or something tonight, so uh, that's that's kind of common. They set up in the daytime, and this, this is burned off at night only walking, right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, Pete was just saying about getting screeched in. Uh, that is down at the bar. What's the name of the bar? Do you remember? The name of that bar is Trapper John's, and uh, inside it's all like the old, uh, the old style of Trapper Museum kind of, kind of, you know, 
atmosphere. Well, there you hear. You heard it first here from uh, producer Pete. What was that? I said you heard it first here from producer Pete. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Now we're so, back on the other side. So, of the street again. so here we are on the other side. So what that means is that we're not on that side anymore. No, we're we're back. We're we're, we're, we're on, on this side. We started on. We're on this side now. Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll show them the other side. Show them the other side. Yeah. <laughs> so the, okay. There you go, guys. And as it's, it says right on the building, the, the purveyors of fine food, wines, beers, and ales. Right. They got authentic live traditional Irish music as opposed to dead stuff. Yeah. Because and the lively, the, the live is better. Yeah, the live is better. It's usually more sound to it. So uh, then we have Lally's Place, which is the home of the right white Russians. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that. Odd looking building there with the with the pink and the yellow that's actually a micro brewery. That's called Yellow Belly. And that's really, really popular here on the, in this area. And the entrance to the Paulden brewery is just on the other side, uh, down at the end of the street. So anyway, I, I'm I'm gonna copy this off uh, another YouTuber now who, who I watch all the time. So, well, we're here on George Street. Yep, there's always something to do. <laughs> <laughs> There's always something to do. Uh, <laughs> when you run out of video, you come into a little corner like this and just hang out. Yeah, because right. you know, like eventually this will be a pub. <laughs> but we don't know. We don't know what we're going to develop it as. Yeah, it's just. But there, there definitely will be a bear here shortly. It's a small area. You never know what you'll find. Yeah, lots to do here. Just one second. I turn. Uh, yeah, we're kind of in here, standing on a box, like. <laughs> All right, so uh, right here at uh, Pepper John's, the home of the, the screeching. Now this is where you become an honorary Newfoundlander. So you do your screeching ceremony, which includes kissing the cat, the catfish, or a puppet, drinking a shot of uh, good old uh, Newfie Screech, and reciting some wonderful Newfoundlandese uh, language. Every night they, have, they probably have a couple, you sign up, and when you're finished, you get your Trumper John's Museum and Pub certification that you are hereby entitled to be referred to as an honorary member of Trumper John's and Newfoundland and Labrador. And be drawn gay, shot a rum, stayed straight, kissed the provincial bird, was knighted with a sword, even though I don't know what the hell had, but this is, having, did these things become an ordinary member of Trapper John's, honorary member of Trapper John's in Newfoundland and Labrador and it's awarded on whatever day you don't. That's your Newfoundland experience. And so thank God the weather is always like this. Right next to us is not the bird that you got to kiss. Right there on the ground. Wait. And let's give you a little zoom of that. Hey, uh, for Cod Raven, here's my, my little buddy here. I'm going to send over to, to spy on your channel. Here he is. Just... Uh, for yeah, he's just waiting for the weather to clear. And here we go again. Hey, come on over. This is uh, one of my employees right here. This is my uh, secret guy here who I send out to Nova Scotia to spy on Cod Raven on his channel. Anyway, he's a little sidetracked right now. He got stuck in paint a while ago. So, all right, Pete, this is your deal, buddy. You're on the air. What's what's going on here? Yeah, this is where we previously looked at that from the other side when I talked about the pink and the yellow doors and whatever. This is the Yellow, be uh, yellow Belly Brewery. This is the microbrewery. Uh, just down in the corner here uh, is the entrance. You go in, they serve food, and they serve their, their, own, their own line of beer. And it's very, very popular. And from just this angle, if you look around, you can see uh, there's another pub over right next to Trapper John's. There's another one right here. So there's little pubs in every nook and cranny here. And for people who don't know what a nook and cranny is, well, you can find that next to the pubs. The pubs, are, <laughs> that's where the pubs are, are in the nooks and crannies. All right. Now, getting back to our coverage of the, this fella. <laughs> okay. 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 We leave that guy. All right. Well, let's see what we can come up with. So we're still on George Street. I'm just going to show you this monument. And uh, Brother Pete here will uh, give us a little rundown on it. Okay, Pete, you just step up at a monument here and give us a uh, whirl. This, uh, this monument, or, or uh, I guess sculpture, uh, was done by uh, Morgan McDowell, and the name, or the title of it, was A Time. 
and it's dedicated to the arts, the music, uh, arts, and everything here in, in, in Newfoundland. And in, New, in Newfoundland, if, if you're talking about a time, a time means a party with music and dancing and stuff like that. And this is what just that is dedicated, all the different forms of music. And uh, I think probably uh, the man with the hat is based on Ron Hines, uh, of course, who's probably uh, known as the man of a thousand songs. Quite, quite popular in Newfoundland, and actually, in fact, he wrote uh, he wrote uh, Sonny's Dream that uh, the people from Ireland think that uh, that someone from Ireland wrote. But it was actually uh, a, lo a local artist, Ron Hines. Well, I'm just uh, slowly getting around here. I'm trying to get Pete to keep up with me if he's talking. I'll be able to pick him up on the microphone. No, it's it's kind of self-explanatory. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's quite the. And again, Pete was in charge of the rain, and uh, I, you know, I held it off. As he he was he was supposed to have this planned out, and apparently he messed it up. So <laughs> we're we're just gonna have to deal with it. So I just left Pete down under the hill here. I'll just show you where he's to. Uh, we got him hooked up, giving an introduction now to. Uh, well, I'll show you. It's easier. Hang on. So here he is down below here now. Just talking to those uh, visitors about the monument. So uh, that's the way it is here. Everybody is quite friendly. Everybody talks to everybody. And we're just look straight out from George Street out over St. John's Harbor. Now that we're here in very colorful St. John's and just pan around, I just want to show you guys something. Uh, St. John's is known for all this brilliant colors. Here's a newer apartment building. I'll zoom here and then I'll go up because I want you to see this. Woohoo! How's this for color, guys? How's this?